Hello everyone. I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can send new job alerts to candidates on WhatsApp. Now we are going to use Recruity, Google Sheets and WhatsApp to do this. Now why would you need this automation? Suppose you have been using Recruity to hire candidates. Now you must have hired one or two candidates from Recruity but you are saving your candidates data into a Google Sheets. Now what will happen whenever you are going to publish a new job that new job alert will be sent to the candidates WhatsApp number and those numbers will be taken by the Google Sheets. So this is our automation is all about. Now to do this automation we are going to use an integration and automation service Pebbly Connect which will help us connect Recruity, Google Sheets and WhatsApp together. Now if you want to learn this amazing automation you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what do we have to do? We just have to go to the address bar and type in P A B B L Y Pebbly dot com slash connect. And as soon as we will do that, we will be redirected to this beautiful web page. And here we have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now signing uh, signing in is very easy. If you already have an account, you can just go for sign in. Signing up is uh, absolutely free. So if you do not have an account, you have to go and sign up. Signing up will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. So I already have an account here. So I'll just go for sign in. And after clicking on sign in, I will just go for login. And now you can see these are my software. So here I'm just going to go for Pebbly connect access now. And here what I'm going to do, you can see I have a new uh, dashboard here where I have so many automations already made. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new workflow by clicking on this button, create workflow. Now here what we are doing, we are connecting our recruitee to WhatsApp. So what we are going to do, we are going to give it this name, you can name it whatever you want to I am going to give it the name recruity to WhatsApp. And now here you can see I have my workflow ready. Now what I have to do first, let me tell you that there are two windows here. First one is trigger second one is action. Now trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process and action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So what is our trigger? We are publishing a job in a recruity. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to choose the app recruity and here we are going to use job is published. Okay. So now you can see we have a webhook URL here and what is this webhook URL? Now this webhook URL is the URL which will help us connect our recruity account to our uh, Pebbly Connect account and uh, uh, you know this webhook URL will be the bridge between our Pebbly Connect account and our uh, recruity account. <laughs> okay, so now how do we connect it? So you can see here it is written login to recruity account, then go to settings, apps and plugins, webhooks, new webhook, enter a name for webhook, copy the webhook URL and you have to choose the message job published. Okay, so let's just do this. You can just read it later on and follow the instructions. So let's just go to recruity, go to settings, then go to apps and plugins. Here just go for webhooks and here you are going to create a new webhook. So name it, I am just going to name it recruity to WhatsApp. Now post URL. So what we are going to do, we are just going to copy this webhook URL. And we are going to post it here. Okay. Now here we are going to select job published. So just select job published and click on verify and create. Now as soon as you will do that, you will see that your Pebbly Connect account has been uh, uh, connected to your Recruity account and here now it is waiting for the webhook response. So we are just going to click on a recapture webhook response. And here we are going to publish a new job in Recruity. Now as soon as we will uh, create a new job in Recruity, what will happen? A new job response will come here in our Pebbly Connect account. So let's just go here, click on jobs, click on new job here, just give the job title. I am giving the title as developer wanted. Okay. Department is development. So let's just go for development. Recruiter is uh, Ashirai. Hiring manager is Ashirai. Job description. We are looking for a for a developer for our new 
सॉफ्टवेयर पैबली कनेक्ट काइंडली अप्लाई हेयर ओके आई एम नॉट टाइपिंग इन अ लॉन्ग डिस्क्रिप्शन बिकॉज आई डोंट नॉट वॉन्ट टू गेट दिस वीडियो लॉन्ग सो वी आर लुकिंग फॉर डेवलपर फॉर अ न्यू सॉफ्टवेयर पैबली कनेक्ट काइंडली अप्लाई हेयर नाउ जॉब रिक्वायरमेंट्स बेसिक एजुकेशन बेसिक एजुकेशन इन ब्रैकेट टेन प्लस टू टेन प्लस टू विद डिग्री इन इंजीनियरिंग ओके so basic education 10 plus 2 with a degree in engineering this is the job requirements now country so i want the person from india so i am just going to select india madhya pradesh city is uh, bhopal and now you can see job details employment type full time category development development uh 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 okay i am really sorry i have to put here software internet and software required education bachelor's degree required experience mid level and i do not want to put all these now so you can see this is the category internet and software and uh, here you can see the department is development and the job title is develop i should write developer okay now i'm just going to click on publish and then i'll click on publish job now as soon as i will publish job here you can see a new job has been published here and now what we are going to do we are going to go to public connect and here you will see in few seconds our response will come and here you can see our response is here uh, company name is pably department name is development and title is developer now what we are going to do <coughs> we are going to put a filter here now why am i putting a filter here so i am putting a filter here because i only want those people or those candidates who are applying for the development job or i should say i only want the uh, you know message to be sent for uh the whatsapp message to be sent for the post of developer to the people from google sheets so if someone is interested in a developer job only he will be applying to that and i only want to uh, you know uh, send the data from my recruiter about the developer job because i'll be publishing so many jobs but here i am just sending the message for the post of developer and that is why i am putting the field as uh, sorry i am putting the filter for developer job okay so here what we are going to do we are just going to uh, select this uh, here payload offer department so payload offer uh, department is development here you can see this payload offer department name development so we just want uh, to send our jobs for the or send our message for the job of development department so let's just select here development I hope my spelling is right. Yes, D E V E L O P M E N T. D E V E L O P M E N T. Okay, good. Now I am just going to click on Save and Send Test Request, and you can see status is success, message is condition is true, because we have this uh, department here, development, and that is why our condition is true for our department. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to take the Google Sheets. Now why are we taking the Google Sheets? Because the data. to which we want to send the message is present in our google sheets okay so what we are going to do we are going to click on get row and here i am just going to connect my account with my google sheets so the account is this one ashirai so just uh, select ashirai and uh, you have to give the authorization to pably connect and let me tell you that pably connect does not take any chances with your data and your data is absolutely safe with pably connect now here you can see this is my sheet public connect recruitment so what i am going to do i am just going to select this sheet here public connect 
recruitment. I don't know why it is showing the wrong spelling. I should refresh it. Okay, it is showing the wrong spelling because here the spelling is wrong. Recruitment. Okay, Pabli Connect recruitment. Let me just correct this quickly and let me just refresh it once again. And you can see Pabli Connect recruitment is my sheet. And here you can see select sheet. So the sheet name is candidates. And that is why I'm selecting the sheet candidates. And now it is asking me for the range. So what is the range? So the range is this. This is the column. Sorry, this is the row from where I have to start. And this is the column till which I have to take the information. So this is a column D and it is starting from A2. Okay, this is the sorry A2. This is the second row from where our data is starting. So we are going to take the row A2 to column D. So you can see here it is written. So we can just directly copy this and paste it. Now whenever I will click on save and send test request, you will see that I will get all the details here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here you can see I have about 10 people here. But I cannot automate or I cannot set up an automation using all these 10 uh, entries because it will be really difficult to take each entry and then you know to put it all together again and again. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn off this simple response. And then I'm going to click on save and send test request again. Now you can see I have all the rows, but the data is now in uh, the but the data is now present in an array format. So what we are going to do as soon as we will simplify this array format, we will only have this top row with us Raj Sharma and mobile number and educational qualification. So what is the benefit? When I will run my automation, I will run it with Raj Sharma. And I do not have to put all the fields in my Google Sheets or all the entries in my Google Sheets in my Pebbly Connect account. So what I will do, I will automate using one entry only. Now to simplify this, what we are going to do, we are going to use another very, very, very good feature of Pebbly Connect, which is iterator. Now you can see it has already taken the response result here. Now I will click on save and send test request and you will see I will have the first row with me. And here you can see the name is Raj Sharma, email is raj at the rate red.com, mobile number is 82693 educational qualification is MTech and row index is 2. Now you can see we have successfully taken only this row here. Okay, so we do not have to, uh, you know, uh, go for these rows and automate using these details because we have taken this first row. These will automatically come as soon as we will start sending our WhatsApp message. Now what we are going to do are steps for connecting our recruitee account is completed here. Then our second step for connecting our Google Sheets is uh, uh, completed here. In between we used a filter plus also an iterator. Now what we are going to do it is time for our final step and our final step is sending message to our WhatsApp. So what we are going to do here we are going to choose an action and the action is WhatsApp by 360 dialogue. Now let me just explain you what it is. First, we are going to click on send template message and we will connect our WhatsApp to our uh, Pebbly Connect account. So what we are going to do, we are going to go for add new connection. Then here what you have to do here, you have to paste the domain. So this is your domain, you can just copy it directly and paste it here. Okay. And now API key. So from where you are going to get this API key, you will go into your 360 dialogue. Here you will go for WhatsApp accounts. After going to WhatsApp accounts, here you will have an option to go for the API key and it is still loading. So let's just wait for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now here you can see I have this option for generate API key. So you can just click on this option and generate a new API key and then copy that API key here in Pebbly Connect account. Now I already have connected my account. So I'm not just going to regenerate again my API key. So I'm just going to select my existing connection. And here you can see this is the final WhatsApp connection. Okay, so I'm just going to save this connection. And now let me tell you what is this send template message. Here you can see in WhatsApp account, 
here is you can see an option for manage templates. So when you will go for manage templates, you have to create these kind of templates if you want to send uh, bulk SMS to sorry, not uh, SMS bulk message from your WhatsApp to different people. So for that, you have to create these kind of templates. Let me just give you an example by showing this one. So for this, you have to create different kinds of template and you can create these kind of templates, which I'm going to show you. It's taking some time. So here you can see, uh, this is one of my templates. Hi, then uh, body field one, and I can put whatever I want to put here. A quick message from uh, body field two to say your appointment on body field three at body field four has been successfully booked. If you need to reschedule, please call this, 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 see you soon. So this is the kind of template that you are going to make if you want to uh, send messages through your WhatsApp. And first you will send this to what, uh, Facebook and from Facebook, you have to get it authenticated. Once Facebook will authorize your template, after that, you can use that template to send messages through your WhatsApp. Now, this authorization can take, uh, you know, five hours. It can also take one day. It can also take two days. So you do not have to panic. If your template is correct, you can just go and uh, apply so that Facebook can authenticate it and also if uh, you are, uh, you know, if, if you have made the template uh, in a correct form, Facebook will, uh, you know, Facebook will authenticate in it in few minutes only, or I should say few hours only, and you'll be able to use that template very easily in your WhatsApp. Now, how you are going to add a new template? So you can go to add a template. And here you can create a new template by giving it the name by using these fields here. And if you want to use image, you can use media and interactive option also. So this is the way you are going to make your template. Okay. Now let me just go back to my Pebbly connect and here, let me just uh, click on save. Now here you can see it is asking me for the template first and then the other fields. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to choose the template I have made specially for this workflow. So the template is job underscore open. Okay, now let me show you this template. Job underscore open. So this is the template and here I have used two, three fields, sorry, four fields, first, second, third and fourth. Here it is written, hi, we have new opening for this, this in this department from and this is my name or Ashi Rai's name. I want to put it here. Okay. So this is the template which I have made for that particular workflow. And these kind of templates you have to make for your workflows as well. So let's just go back here. Namespace. We do not want to mess up with this. Language code is English. We do not want to mess up with this as well. And now here what we are going to do. We are going to take the mobile number of the recipient from our iterator. So here this is the mobile number 8269366 double six nine one three now what you have to do first you have to put plus sign before this because without that the whatsapp message will not be able to go and also i have added my code here nine one which is uh, used for india if you are using it for another country you have to uh, paste the code or use the code of that particular country where you are sending the message okay now body field one so at body field one what we are going to do what is written here? Hi, body field one. So body field one is the name. So let's just go for name. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a technique which is called mapping, like I used here in phone number as well. And mapping will let me take the data from this window here. And it will let me put the data here in this window. So what we are going to do, we are going to go here and map in the first name Raj Sharma. Now body field two. So what is body field two? Body field two is we have a new opening for and this is the position. So we are going to go for we, are, we have a new opening for and we are going to go for recruity. We have a new opening for developer. Okay, we have a new opening for developer in development department. So we are going to take the development here. Department name development and body field four is the company name. So what we are going to do, we are going to just map in here our company name. So we will go here 
and the company name is Pabli. Okay. Now what we are going to do, let me first open my WhatsApp. So here you can see I have opened my WhatsApp and now what I'm going to do, you can see here, I have only test group one and test group two. Now I will go back and now as soon as I will click on save and send test request, we will see that we will have a new message here in my WhatsApp. So let's see, let's just click on save and send test request. And as you can see, we have this contact input 82693669613 and message ID is this status is stable and meta version is this, which means our message has been sent successfully to all of these people here. But what we are going to do, we are going to just check this one because these are all dummy numbers and uh, I do not have WhatsApp on them. But whenever you will use all these numbers here, what will happen? The WhatsApp will be sent to every one of them. Now here I have only one authenticated number, which which is this one. So I'm just going to go here and show you. You can see here I have my message. Hi, Raj Sharma. We have new opening for developer in development department from Pebbly. So now whatever the message you want to write, you can write it in your Pebbly Connect account here. Sorry, not your Pebbly Connect account in your template. So I have uh, this uh, template here, you can create a very good template with, uh, you know, uh, fancy words and uh, with the proper terms, which has been used for these kind of uh, jobs. I have just created a small template to show you how it's done. So friends, this is how you can connect your recruitee to your WhatsApp and also put filters here so that whenever a new job is published for a particular department, only the message for that particular job opening will be sent to the people already present in your Google Sheets. Okay. And this automation can work wonders for your company because it will attract a lot of, uh, you know, what should I say, a lot of good candidates and they will be uh, available for you so that you can uh, hire them as soon as possible. And if you, uh, you know, loved this workflow and if you want to clone this workflow into your account, you can just go into my description box and you can clone this workflow into your account. But for that, you need to have an account, my friend. And to have an account, you need to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. So what are you waiting for? Go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to edit in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you